Good day everyone, I am Brother Gino from the Brothers Kitchen and here with me are some of the great first students from De La Salle Santiago Zubel. Why not introduce yourself, kids? Hi everyone, I'm Miguel Alay Ay. Hi, my, my name is Dong Yang Kang. Hi, I'm Bobby Uyesko. And because today we're in the Brothers Kitchen, we're supposed to come up with some food. Because food always makes life better, isn't it Miguel? Yes. So what's your favorite food? My favorite food is katsudon and teriyaki. My favorite food is cheeseburger. My favorite food is pasta, especially lasagna. Wow, those are nice foods, right? How about you, brother? What's your favorite food? You know, I was born in Italy, and most of my family members are also in Italy. So anything Italian for me is really comforting. So there's pasta, but what we're going to prepare today is something easy yet satisfying. You want to know what? Yes! yes. We're going to prepare bread pizza. Oh! <laughs> So before we start, let's prepare first our work area. Let's make sure everything is ready in our table. So let's put this aside. Yes, this one. And then let's put this first. We will use this later on once we have prepared our bread. And then this one will be in the center. So I'll be giving you, or we'll be having each one, a plate. Yeah, and now we're ready. But before we start, touching anything, I want to check first. Have you washed your hands? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so for this, for the bread pizza, uh, we can use any any bread, any bread that we have at home. But for, for today, we have three kinds of bread. We have the normal lo loaf bread, the baguette, and the pandesal. And you can choose your own because we're, we're creating your own bread pizza. So what's yours, Miguel? I want the loaf bread. The loaf bread. So I'll give you your own loaf bread. How about you, Dong Yun? I want the pandesal. The pandesal, okay. So for safety reasons, I'll be the one to cut the pandesal for you. And yours? I want the baguette. The baguette. So let's get one baguette. There. There. And for me, so let's return this one here, and I'll get also a bread. So now that we have all our own breads, we're ready to begin creating our own bread pizza. JB, can you please hand me the serving spoon, please? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, JB. Now, let's begin with our tomato sauce. So for our tomato sauce, we have to cover all the parts of our bread. So because the baguette is small, we can get in there more. Okay? So we we'll place it here. We don't need this anymore. Let's put it here now. And then we get our uh, what do you call this? <laughs> teaspoon. So this is a teaspoon and just a little olive oil. So just a sprinkle of it. Not too much. Done with our tomato sauce and our olive oil. Now is the time for you to be creative. You see those ingredients? Yes. It's free for all. Meaning, you can put your own design, you can put your own cheese, your own pepperoni, or whatever you want for your bread pizza. Let's start. And 
while we're making this, we have to preheat our oven and make sure that it's preheated for two to five minutes. So here is our oven toaster. We'll just preheat it for two to five minutes. I set it to five minutes. Are you satisfied with your design? Yeah. Yes. Don't want pepperoni? Oh, you want some? Go. I can't fit the pepperoni. There! There you go. So, did you hear that? Yes. yes. So, our oven, our oven toaster is ready. JB, can you please hand me the, that one? Yes, the black one. Thank Here, you. brother. Thank you. So, we'll begin with placing Miguel's creation and mine inside the oven toaster. So, we have to be careful because it's already preheated. So, it's hot. Yeah, make sure it's there. And then we'll do yours on the second time, okay? There. We'll close it. If you're doing this at home, make sure you have someone to place it inside because it's hot. And then we turn it again to five minutes. And then it will bake itself. Just make sure that the cheese is melted properly. There. Okay. Yay. Yeah. It's burning. Mine's not. Some pieces. Mine looks good. There. <laughs> Our finished product. Open the one. There. Does it smell good? Yes. Yeah. I can't smell mine. <laughs> and we'll be back shortly to prepare and to prepare our table for because we will be eating, eating and tasting our food. Yes. Our pizza. Yes! And let's try. Can we try it now? Yes. yes. Go. Try it now. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's crunchy. Oh my. Can you do it at home? By your own? No. No? Yeah, you have to ask your... Uh, I want to parents. make this, but I don't have a budget. <laughs> Maybe just buy it. Oh my god. So brother, what do you do as a brother? You know, we do things like... The usual things that people do. But maybe what makes it special for us is we follow the three core values. There are things that we do for faith, there are things that we do for service, and there are also things that we do for community. The first one, of course, is faith. Uh, what makes the life of the brothers special is that we have prayers. We have a lot of prayers. For a day, we have two to three prayers. We gather in our chapel, and then we say the bravery. You wouldn't know that, but maybe later on you would know. But we have to attend, or we attend Mass at least once a day. So we have our daily mass either in the school or in our own community. For the service part, for us, for Scholastics, we are doing our service component 
uh, teaching you. You were my former student, right? You are my student right now. Shall I teach you something? Are you sure? Are you learning something from me? No. What is it? What did you What, what did you learn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for our service part, we have teaching here in Zubel. Uh, there are other things that we do also, like we have teaching alternative uh, alternative learning system, and we have a Saturday or Sunday schools that we gather uh, students from different places and we teach catechism. And the last part, my favorite part, would be the community aspect. Uh, meals are very important. Do you join your families for dinner? Dinner time? Yes. So for brothers, it's also a special time because it's that moment that we gather together, we share our stories like this. We just talk about anything. What happened uh, at school, we talk about our students, we share our uh, struggles in school, we share our challenges as well. You would hear Brother Bernie, uh, Brother Martin, we're in the same community. So during mealtime, we, we laugh together. Uh, and at the end of the meal, sometimes uh, when it's weekend, we get to watch movies. Remember Spider-Man? Yes. Yeah, we watch that. We watch that together as a community. Brother, is it hard to be a brother? I think it could be challenging. Mm. Is it hard to be students? Yeah. Huh? Mm. What's hard? To, what's the hard part in being students? Passing the score. Passing the score. What else? Taking hard tests. Taking hard tests? Because you didn't study. <laughs> How about you, JB? I have the same you? answers as both of them. Oh, okay. But for the brothers, uh, especially for us, right now we're teaching and we're also studying. So I'm teaching here in Zubel, and then in the evening we have classes in LSE. So it's trying to balance out uh, preparing for classes, uh, preparing to teach, and also preparing for our own classes. We have to pass our exams also. We have our own assignments. So we have to do it together. So sometimes for me, what was, what's challenging really is time management. Are you having a hard time also managing your time? Maybe. Maybe? Yes. Yeah, because you... A lot. A lot. Why? I have things to do. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for, it's just the same. Maybe the brothers, uh, for us, uh, because we're scholastics, our focus is studying and also Zubel. But we have other activities to do as well. So that's part of uh, our struggle. So as I said, it's time management for me. Uh, I find it hard to, uh, to be able to still play, to be able to watch my favorite series, and to properly study, and to properly give time also for my preparation in school. But then again, uh, it takes practice. Uh, but you know, for you it's getting better as well, right? As students, you get to practice every day what you're going to do, and you're getting used to it, isn't it? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Brother, what inspired you to be a brother? You. You and you. Uh, I think it's really part of uh, us being with like, the young ones, being with the kids. It's, if you see Brother Martin, he roams around like it's the happiest day uh, he had because he's with the kids. And for me, that's just the same. Because when I teach uh, inside the classroom, when I encounter you outside the classroom, it makes me happy. Uh, it makes life worth it. But when I was in high school uh, in Dela Salipa, uh, I joined an organization called Searching. And there, uh, I became a facilitator. Um, and I was so inspired with the idea of being with the young. That it, uh, even when I was in college, I would go back to Dela Salipa uh, to pursue activities with the young. So I'm, I'm teaching catechism, I'm conducting, uh, I'm facilitating retreats, and all those. But throughout the years, uh, I was at one time sent to, you know Bacolod? Yeah. Have you heard of Bacolod? Do you know it's that we have? It's a city. Yeah, it's a city. And we have two LaSalle schools there. Uh, I was assigned in one of those, in St. Joseph's School, LaSalle. And that's where I was also inspired by the teachers. But I, I think what makes the South special is all schools, each students, uh, all teachers, they're all inspired. And for me, it makes life of the brothers, it makes the life of the brothers worth doing and worth living. How does it feel like being a brother? Oh, well, uh, we have our days and we're very happy. There are days that are challenging. But I think what's more important is the uh, uh, the feeling inspired we get 
whenever we enter the school, whenever we see you guys, whenever we see our partner teachers, our Lasallian partners, uh, all the staff in the school. Uh, for me, it gives me joy to hear your stories, the stories of the, our Lasallian partners. And it makes me inspired and makes me want to go and continue what I, whatever I'm doing, and to continue the mission of St. Lasallian that he started 300 years ago. Brother, do you like being a brother? Do I like being a brother? Yes. Uh, it is very fulfilling. I find it very fulfilling. Though we only go to Zubel Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, all those times are always worth it. It's worth it being with you, interacting with the students during recess. Uh, it's very fascinating. I hope you had fun making our bread pizza today. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. yes. And do you believe that anything can be a uh, learning moment for us? Huh? Do you believe that we can learn from this? Yeah, I hope so. I hope you will be able to see uh, that making pizza and eating it has a lesson in it. You see, we had many ingredients earlier, remember? And all those combined made it good and delicious, right? So even the smallest things in our life are important. So you have to take care of it. You have to be thankful always. Just like the pizza, without the cheese, it wouldn't be the same. Without the pepperoni, it wouldn't be the same. Without the bread, of course, it wouldn't be the same. So everything that we get in life, we try to be grateful and thankful. Thank you for joining us today here in Brothers Kitchen. Thank you, brother, for the delicious recipe. I really liked it. I can't wait to make our own for my fa families and friends. Thank you also boys and welcome. Welcome for uh, welcome and thank you boys for joining us, joining me and the rest of the Cooking with Bro uh, staff. And I hope you really enjoyed today. For those who would want to follow me at Instagram and in Twitter, uh, my Twitter handle and Instagram handle is at Gino and Daya. Also please follow uh, at Dalasal Brothers Manila. Uh, both in Facebook and Instagram. If you're feeling hungry, don't forget to follow Brothers Kitchen and like the YouTube channel Zoom Media Official. And also don't forget to like the official page of DLSZ in Facebook. Once again, this is Brother Gino for Cooking with Grow. Bye everyone. Bye! Bye.